Hello guys, welcome to Merch Benz King. This here is the all new Mercedes-Benz S-Class facelift S350 diesel. And in today's video I will show you the characteristics of this car, how it parks, how it drives in the city and more. It has the AMG package, you can see that from the aggressive bumpers. It has a gorgeous S-Class grille, very iconic, with a blacked out Mercedes star and the Mercedes star on top of the hood. It has the new design of Mercedes-Benz and they made the distinction between this model and the C-Class and E-Class. Now it has three stripes at the headlamps and a new AMG design. This one has the AMG package. So guys, let's go for a drive with the new Mercedes-Benz S-Class. As you can see, the, this keyless go button, it illuminates. So we'll just press the button and the steering wheel adjust as well as the seat. And now I will start the engine and just pay attention to the lights in front of us, how it goes like swords. Amazing. So right now it's on the navigation screen, in 3D mode, and we'll put on the seat belt, and let's go. It has amazing ambient lighting in the interior, and as I put it in reverse, it has the 360 degrees camera. So all the cameras open also in the front. It also has sensors. So if I come too close, it will turn red. Let's go. So this is the facelift model, it has the new design steering wheel of Mercedes-Benz. It's the S350 diesel, so it has 286 horsepower with 600 Nm of torque. And as I drive, I don't hear anything of the engine. So it's very quiet inside the cabin. It's very well isolated. And this is kind of a firm road. And it does, a, and it does an amazing job. So let's see how fast this car is. I will just floor it a little. Very fast. It goes from zero to 62 miles per hour or 100 kilometers an hour in just 5.8 seconds. And that's very fast in my opinion for this S-Class diesel. It has a top speed of 250 kilometers an hour. So in this video I will also show you how this car parks for itself. So the parking assistance. So I will try to park somewhere in this street. Let's try this one. I just hit the parking button on the center console and it right here shows that there is a, it detected a parking spot. So right now I just affirm, confirm by pressing on the touchpad and it tells me to put it into reverse. So I just hit the reverse. It gives an, it indicates by itself and I release the brake.
So let's see. Great. And now I put it into drive. Oh, it goes into reverse by itself. But as you can see, it doesn't detect curbs that good. <laughs> and it now forced its way on the curb. Oh, it said it's finished. So let's see how it performs, guys. So this is how the S-Class parked for itself. And as you can see, it forced its, its way on the curb. And that's because the curb is very low and it doesn't detect uh, with the sensors, with, with the parking sensors. And this is also the S-Class long version, Prestige. So it is about 5 meters and 25 centimeters long. And these parking spaces are about 5 meters long. So let's go to another parking spot and see how it performs. So now I will exit the parking spot, I'll just hit the parking button again and uh, you, here you can see the cameras. This is the front camera in 180 degrees and here you have the bird view, the sides of the car, the rear camera. Okay, so let's go. I really like the technology of this car. Here you can see the 3D mode. All the buildings are in 3D. So I will now try to find the parking spot uh, that's not in a, in a row but next to another car somewhere in this street so I will press the button for the parking sensors right now it's searching for a parking spot it found some parking spots I want to have this one on the left yes so right here is a parking sign with an arrow I just press the touchpad to confirm. I want to park in reverse, so I press OK. Now it tells me to put the car into reverse. And I do nothing. Let's see. You can change the cameras. I'm parking between a Tesla and a Renault. It goes into drive automatically, I didn't do anything. Yes, it does it pretty good. Yes, so it finished. So let's see how it parked. Let's see. It's perfectly in the spot. It did park all the way to the end. So the wheel is touching the curb. And I guess that there's a lot of rear over the curb and yes indeed oh the Tesla is almost touching the curb it's a gorgeous car available at Auto Wüst Out Beiland so let's proceed the road 
and we will try one more parking test. So let's proceed the road. So let's try to do one more last parking test just behind this Mini Cooper. I hit the parking button. Yes, so it detected a parking spot right there. I touch the touchpad. I hit the reverse and release the brake. Now let's see. Perfect. And as you can see, it shows the distance between the curb. So it actually, this time it actually uh, recognized that there is a curb. Great. So as you can see, it's perfectly in the spot. Beautiful looking car. Gorgeous three stripe tail lights. So, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you liked the video and stay tuned for more. If you have some suggestions, you can leave it in the comment section below. And I will see you next time. Bye bye.